they wanted to steal from the S farms. Um, so today, I'm um, finally getting to um, wire my bike up. So I was waiting for some 8 gauge wire to come in from Hobby King. Uh, which, by the way, for anyone that's ordering, they only come in one meter strands. So I ordered like three meters of block and uh, they gave me <laughs> three separate pieces, one meter each. Uh, I thought it comes in the spool, but I guess it, and they cut it, but I guess they don't. So fortunately the length was just enough to go from there to back there. And uh, I didn't really have to cut anything, I just used it. So, but anyways, not what I expected. But today, uh, so I got my Adapto controller wired in, um, running it off 53 volts on the, uh, the Hub Monster motor. I've removed the uh, brake caliper because I have a little bit of a interference with the uh, the caliper and the rotor, which I got to work on. Here's my fake sprocket, pedal forward, and it's it's fantastic. We 3, 3D printed like a shim inside there and it uh, just stays on the shaft so it doesn't... I gotta figure out a way not to make it rub the cover. It's pretty, it's pretty snug, it won't go anywhere, but with vibration it might move around. Uh, so with uh, the help of John and CR on the forums, I uh, figured out that the yellow, green, blue correspond with the hall sensor wire that has the green shrink wrap. Um, so all over here I just I follow I usually tend to follow crystallite spec for the hall sensors. Um, so that combination is matched with the color, color combination uh, off the hub monster. And then I just wired it. Uh, I believe again all all to adapt those spec whatever it says in the manual is down here somewhere. The cable comes in. These are for the other three phases for the secondary controller. And uh, all I did, uh, other than that, I just I literally fired it up for the first time, and uh, I just changed the direction to positive on the adapto, and uh, she spins up. So uh, more to come. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to get the second controller in today. I have pretty much everything to wire it except the, uh, I didn't finish up the hall sensor adapter that I made from there to down there uh, because I wasn't sure if the combination would work first go and it did. So uh, I'm not gonna mess with any of the settings. I gotta figure out all the um, custom stuff to uh, get the, the two wheel drive to work properly with a, a single motor that's dual winding and these two controllers but just a little spin up it's pretty good i'm gonna just do it on eco mode so this thing doesn't fly off um i gotta figure out this wheel size and the mole uh, sorry the pull motor count which i don't know yet but she's pretty smooth i haven't calibrated anything yet i just literally wired it and turned it on it's an eco mode And that thing is, I have to say, this thing is fast. <laughs> that is pretty fast. I doubt that's right. It's only pulling 100. 3.6 amps at 53 volts. 170. Uh, I can't see 150 to 200 watts. It's, it's fluctuating too much, but three point, yeah, it seems right. Damn, if that's 40 volts, I can't imagine what this thing will do at 72. Um, that tire is pretty true too, <laughs> considering there's no spokes to mess with. So no vibration really when you let off. It's pretty, pretty straight. Um. Yeah, I mean, um, pretty much, I could even, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could ride this bike with one controller just to see if it works. I might even do that. I'm not going to give her, but I'll just try it and see if how she runs. Maybe I just get a 48 volt pack. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is part one. 
I'll post some more uh, videos as we go. Thanks for watching.